Email preference page is an amazing resource for you to reduce unsubscribe rate and segment your customers better. And on another side for your customer, it's an amazing resource to tell you what information and what kind of emails they want to receive from you. It takes some technical skills to do this, but let's go to my Klaviyo account and I'll show you step by step and you can follow me how to set it up for your account. So first of all, I'll go to my inbox and show you one of the, this is Benbridge Jewelers, one of our client. And as you can see, when you scroll down, there's unsubscribe right here or also uh, in other version, it might be like manage preference. So when you click unsubscribe, instead of directing you to unsubscribe page, so it, it is unsubscribe, you can click unsubscribe. And as you can see, everything goes in shadow and you click update preference and this is how you will be unsubscribed. But the beauty of this page is you can collect additional information. So first of all, you, you can add phone number and also interest check all that applies let's say i'm interested in like new arrivals gifts watches and events let's say and i'm interested in all emails or maybe once per month let's do all emails and click update so now clavio remembers that information as you can see if i go back for example let's go back if i click here again you see all that information is remember in my clavio profile and it's on this email preference page. So it's beautiful because first of all, you are able to segment your customers better. But second, if they're receiving too many emails from you, you can do snooze for all emails for 30 days, once per week, once per month. And this is how people tell you that they want to receive, let's say, less email. And this is how you can reduce your unsubscribe rate because before they unsubscribe from you, they can pick their own frequency. Okay, so now how do we do it in Clive? So there's two ways how you can do it. First, we can do it globally for all new lists that you will be creating. There's one preference page or you can do one preference page per list. I strongly recommend for you to do it globally so you don't have to remember each time to put the preference page. So this is what we do. So now we have a list test for Clavio Mastery, which we used in the previous uh, video. So we click here and we click subscribe and preference pages. And this is all the pages you can modify, but the purpose of this video will be talking about the preference page. So we click edit and here you can modify it everything you want let's say if you want to add some kind of image here let's see if i have something yeah let's i don't know let's add this thing for example select you can modify it uh, you can play around with the design so email we already know the email but it's required uh let's name honestly like i'm not sure unless you in specific industry where you need to use their last name i would strongly recommend to remove it also in most cases 99 percent we have their email address but in in most cases we do not have their first name so that's why i put first name on the top then email and here you have a, some kind of a drop down so this one we can remove and the question is what kind of information you want to uh, receive from them you can say let's say collections you like something like that and then other options you can pick t-shirts or dresses and so forth or you know what better like gender which is probably applicable to most of you male now you need to create the property uh, in Clavio. Uh, let's say, I'm not sure, gender, yeah, we don't have that one, so gender, you create property, and here as a property you say male, you need to create create male, and you create female, okay, so create female, okay, so now anybody who picked any of those options, uh, the property will apply to their Clavier profile. So now we have first name, email, gender, and let's do frequency. So we do um, radio button because we want only one option and email frequency. And here you do email. You see, we already have email frequency. So we show, you see all emails, monthly, 
what else do we have snooze all emails so we'll do all emails monthly snooze all emails for 30 days okay perfect and also you have unsubscribe you put the text style and say it like if you want to unsubscribe unsubscribe from all our emails please click on unsubscribe below something like that or you can include this button uh oh this is the button below yeah if you want to make it a little bit prettier you can also add another image at the below below and make it look beautiful uh let's select this one again yeah you need to put i'm not, not sure what's the width of this page it's like 800 pixels maybe again i'm not a designer so you have to play with this but this is how you create uh, the preference page okay so we just set up the email preference page again you can update it at any moment but it's better to have something and collect that information because it will help you for segmentation now let's go to the next video talking about the unsubscribe page